Hey, what's going on, everyone? Back with some EDC content and uh, realizing this isn't our normal content. Normally, I'm looking at knives, but, uh, you know, certainly have my trusty Microtech Anox right here uh, by my side. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, new Sangin Instruments Hydra. Um, haven't seen a video about it yet, but um, this is a really interesting piece that I'll probably be doing a more in-depth um you know, kind of review of it. Not not so much the tech specs, but just kind of my experience with having it over the last week um, when these came out. Um, but what I wanted to cover was just kind of the inner GMT dial that this has. So um, most watches, whether it's like a, you know, Submariner, <laughs> pick, pick your poison, for instance, um, will have an outer bezel that you can spin. This one's gonna be an inner bezel and um, you know, if you notice, even though this is the GMT bezel version, there's no GMT hand, but I kind of wanted to go over how to set it because there's not a lot of great information online, but I thought it was really cool. You have these uh, two crowns here, this one obviously to set the time as well as the date or wind it. And then this one right here that kind of has these little hash marks that look like latitude and longitude lines. Um, I just wanted to cover and we'll, you know, stick with New York time, you know, here in California right now, it's going to be 719, 1915. Um, if you unscrew this top one um, for time zones that are ahead of yours, you're just going to move it um, counterclockwise here. So seven, eight, nine, ten, and then um, kind of dissimilar to the the main um, uh, the main crown here. You don't really want to like spin it. A lot of times when I you know do the main crown, I'll kind of turn it counterclockwise and then clockwise to lock it in. With the uh, you know this GMT bezel, you really just want to press it in so that it doesn't spin freely. And then you kind of lock it in so then you know in new york it's going to be 10 20 right now so i just wanted to go over that real quick um it's a really interesting feature um not something that i'm super familiar with but um you know if you do have a sanger and hydra you're one of the lucky 300 that were able to scoop one up um i just thought you y'all might want to know so i uh, appreciate y'all tuning in we'll see you next time